What's up guys, PJ here from 3D Printing Canada. So today in front of me, I have my favorite build surface to use to date. Reason being is carbon fiber is absolutely amazing. It's super strong and it's really thermally conductive. So this whole plate would glow right under a thermal imaging camera. On top of that, if you're printing nylon, PETG, Altem, Peak, any of those type of materials, basically anything past PLA, ABS, things like that, they've been known to take chunks of the glass out of the bed, or let's say you have a polycarbonate bed, it'll pull chunks of that out as well. With carbon fiber, that does not happen at all. I've been using one for, I'd say at least eight months now since we've been testing. I have yet to have any problems with it at all. The only kickback to it is though, guys, is you have to use Elmer's washable purple glue stick. And when I say Elmer's purple, I mean, you really need to use the Elmer's Purple. Uh, I've tried white glue sticks where the glue stick itself is white. They just don't seem to work uh, like the Elmer's. The Elmer's feels really sticky when you touch it as opposed to the white one that's like clumpy and hard. So with that being said, guys, you have to use glue stick if you use one of these. We have multiple build um, surface sizes available for the printers we carry uh, as well as some we don't. Um, ranging all the way up to uh, 410 by 410 for our full-size Trudon as well, all the way down to the Ender size, the Ender 3 and the Ender 5 Pro size, uh, as well as we came up with a nice little uh, idea as well for some of you who really like spring steel style uh, build surfaces, but uh, maybe you didn't want to use PEI or PEX or something that ABS or even TPU have had rip PEI off. So um, if you're using those surfaces, you still need to use glue stick to protect your PEI or your PEX sheet. So what we went ahead and did is we made um, uh, some thinner carbon, which you would take a magnet and you would put one on your printer. It comes with two magnets. And you would put one on the printer and one on the, on the carbon sheet. And it still gives you that option to flex your print off, but not have to worry about PEI or anything else. But again, guys, you st if you're looking for something that's gonna adhere without any adhesive, carbon fiber won't do that. Nothing's gonna stick to this because of the gloss on it. So keep that in mind. Uh, but definitely this is my favorite build surface to use. Uh, I use it on both of my printers at home as well as all the printers I use in the shop. Uh, I've broken many, and when I say many pieces of glass, I'm not kidding you guys. Um, I'd say I've broken, and not that it's breaking in half, that I'm pulling chunks of the glass off with the print once it cools. Now, if you have a printer and you set in your G-code for the bed to be hot, that's not necessarily gonna happen, but not everybody has that luxury or maybe the knowledge on how to do the G-code in that manner. So with the carbon fiber, it comes off really easy. Um, and I've never broke one yet where I probably would have broke many pieces of glass with some of the prints we do here with nylon and things like that. Well guys, I hope this video was very informative to you. You can pick up all these products at 3dprintingcanada.com. If you do have any questions, you can feel free to call the shop, email us. Don't forget to check out our forum as well, guys, 3dprintingspace.com. Lots of helpful information on there, tips and tricks videos. We also have a lot of our customers that have a lot of knowledge helping you guys out. So don't forget to visit our forum. See you in the next video, guys.